something that she taught me was a love for plants and horticulture. Um, we're sitting in front of our garden here that has started to bloom and we're getting some tomatoes in. But I always remember the days of Edlin with you walking around and telling us what all of your flowers were and your beautiful backyard and gardens. And I want to thank you for that. We love you. And can you say Dida? Dida. I've, over the years, I've just kind of learned the value of consistency and you're always um, you know, the, the, the same in how you carry yourself and how you lead the family. And I noticed that's, that's just a really important quality for leadership is, is being consistent. Something I've learned from Dida is you can always spice up a marriage with a pair of heart undies. One thing I've learned from Dida is that it is grandma's job to spoil her grandkids. So I'm no longer surprised when my kids leave their grandma's house with a new toy every single time. Something I've learned from Dita is how to perform, whether an entrance to a room or giving a presentation to colleagues. I've always been taught how to consider my audience. Ever since I was nine years old and Dita coached me as I was preparing my running speech to give to the Lamplier Layers Corporation so I could be VP of my little fourth grade class, I have been infinitely grateful for Dita's teaching around public speaking. The biggest thing that you've taught me throughout your lifetime is how to love and praise and respect your husband as a wife. And thank, thank you for giving me absolute life goals of what I want a family to turn into over generations. We love you so we much. We love you so we love much. You too. Happy Mother's Day. Um, something I learned from you is my sense of style. I love how uh, you always take over a room with your style and I get my best style tips from you. Um, Felix and I love you. Happy Mother's Day. Um, what you've taught me is the power of kindness. Um, you've taught us to treat everyone the same with kindness from the janitor to the president. And that is obvious in your community and legacy that you have today. Everyone just adores you because you've always made them feel welcome. Um, but you've also taught me that being kind does not mean you are weak and does not mean you're a pushover. So you've shown me that and how I should be treating my mother and what I should expect from a romantic partner. Um, you've always taught us to expect that excellence from other people because that's what we'll give them. So you are with me every day and how I'm living my life. So I love you so much and I'm missing you like crazy. We have learned so much from you. I think one of the biggest lessons I've learned from you is how to have a healthy marriage and how to love your spouse well and have fun. Um, and you are always a wonderful hostess and you're so good at bringing people together. And I really admire that about you. And one of the most amazing things I've learned from you is how to prioritize spontaneity and communication in your marriage. Um, so thank you. And I wouldn't have my amazing wife without you and Sparky and Sparky and his amazing socks. I have so many good memories, especially at Edlin. One of my favorite things you would organize as a grandmother was our Easter cousin egg hunts. Maybe we should do one soon at y'all's new place. How you've shown me to treat people uh, throughout my life and how far that can really take you. Uh, just, you know, anytime I hear that somebody knows who you are, I just, I always hear how, like how, how kind and empathetic you are. Empathy is another one of your outstanding qualities that uh, has really made you shine and, and we're, we're just so thankful for who you are. One thing I learned from DDOT is to always be thankful. Love you, DDOT. Happy Mother's Day. One of the best things I think I've learned from her is to always keep a positive attitude about the future and always keep a smile on your face no matter what's really going on. Because, you know, whenever I see DDOT, she's always just brimming with happiness, love, and beauty. And that's something that I'd like to internalize and something I'd like to project as well. What I've learned from Deedle is that she's very nice to people. She's a great encourager and I want to be just like that. <laughs> what I've learned from Deedle is that she's very generous and I want to be generous because she's very generous. We love you, Deedle. I want to just thank you for the mother you've been. Thank you for your love and kindness, your sacrifice, your correction and forgiveness thank you for your joy and love and loving me as a baby 
and becoming a great mother of five, grandmother of 15, and superb wife to your husband. We all admire you, we all love you, we all can't imagine life without you. And we're so thankful God's blessed us with many, many years. So happy Mother's Day, enjoy it all, and rejoice with Mary as my mom. I rejoice and praise God. Thank you, love you. Happy Coronavirus Mother's Day. Uh, happy Mother's Day. We love you and we miss you. Can't wait to see you after all of this craziness is over. Happy Mother's Day. Um, love you. Happy, happy Mother's Day. Oh. Happy, happy Mother's, Mother's Day, Day, Grandma. Happy Mother's Day, Dita. Felix and I wanted to wish you a Happy Mother's Day. A Happy Mother's Day. I'm missing you and I wish I could give you a big hug. But we love you guys so much and are so thankful and grateful to have you in our lives. Yay, love happy you. Happy Mother's Day. I wanted to say Happy Mother's Day to all the wonderful mothers in our family. We love you, Dida. Oh, yes, we do. We love you, Dida, and we'll be true. When you're not with us, we're blue. Oh, Dida, we love you. Happy Mother's Day, Dida. Mm -hmm.